tricorn black. They don't make it anymore. Uh, this is Sherwood William. And I'm trying a new cell activator, which I haven't done in a long time, so I don't remember even if it works. But I'm using PBO iridescent blue black. And it's going to be very purpley, mostly purples, whites, and some interference colors. So let's get to work. Oh, goodness. Oh, I was going to use my hair dryer. Maybe I should still use my hair dryer, right? Um, I didn't really organize very well. But let's see, is my hair dryer on? It is. So you know what? We're gonna use the hair dryer today. Let me pour my paints first. Now I don't I don't want to have a thick layer of pillow paint because I don't want to have to spin it out too much. So I'm gonna pour what I think I need and then I'm gonna spin it out to make sure it's thin. The problem is, I really hope this works because I don't want to waste this paint because I hardly have any left and they're not making it anymore. If you're in the States, some people like Walmart Color Place and Onyx. I haven't still really found <clears throat> one in Canada. I have used, not, a, not enough to say if I like it, but I have used Benjamin Moore. It is a little thinner than this, but maybe by leaving it open, <clears throat> it will be okay. I'm gonna do more tests with it. So, maybe I'll just use two. I don't know, we'll see, right? Let's see what we're doing here. <clears throat> maybe I'll just, I think I can just use two quarts. That would be awesome. So then if it doesn't work, I just wasted two. Normally I say it's only wasted paint, but it's sad if you can't get the paint that you like anymore. So we're gonna be brave. All right, so I have two quarts down. Now, I'm going to smooth it out and then spin it out to stretch it out a bit. Now, this isn't the best so the problem is the back of this board is just one uh, piece of wood. So it doesn't really, um, it's not very level when spinning. So I just kind of have to move it around a bit and kind of deal with that. But we'll see, right? There's always a challenge here and there to deal with. So let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna spin this out as it is first to then let's see what happens so we're already going over this side okay spin it out some more okay we're thinning out some edges. All right. So what am I going to do? All right. I guess I'll just start making um, <clears throat> the shapes that I want. Um, so I'm thinking I can kind of go like this. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get to work, right? You know what? I'm gonna change my gloves already because they're black and I'm trying to stay clean as possible. You know how I always have these ideas and they never really work out how I planned, but we do them anyways, right? Oh God, this is gonna be the longest video ever because I can't put on a glove. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna start because, so I have um, Diox Purple. When you put a purple right on a black, it's going to dry and you're not gonna be able to see it because it darkens as it dries. So I'm gonna start with a bit of zinc white at the bottom. So at least you'll see some of that purple coming up, right? So, because I'm gonna still have to spin it a lot, um, I'm gonna start like this. 
Oops. Okay. And then perhaps like this. You never know, right? This could be crazy or crazy good. <laughs> Probably crazy. All right, next, I'm gonna put a bit of the purple on that white. Do we even, like, are we gonna like the shape? I might add another one down there, we don't know. I'll blow this up first. Okay, here's the purple on the white. All right, now let's go for TLP Shimmer, which is kind of like a blue-violet interference. I feel like I'm going to want to bring this down like this a little bit, you know? All right, so here's the shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, so pretty. All right, shimmer. Now... Next, on top of that, I'm just going to do the rest are going to be pigments. And I'm going to top it off with a little bit of white under my cell activator. So I have TLP Enchantment, this really pretty um, light purple. Okay. Then I have TLP Comet, which is a red interference, but it really comes off more like a dark pinky red. Pretty. Okay. Then I have TLP or really nice gold. It's gonna be very shimmery. And remember, I'm not really caring about cells as much. Um, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Trust me, just don't you worry. Okay. Now I'm going to top it off with a little bit of more of the zinc white and then, oh God, I'm going to blow it out. And you know how I get quite nervous. Just a little bit like this. Okay. So I haven't even tested out the cell activator. So I'm really just throwing caution to the wind here. So I'm not going to put cell activator over the whole thing. I'm going to do it in sections because I don't want it to sink as I'm working. So I'll, I'm going to start with this section, and I wonder if I'm going to blow from the other direction instead of blowing it towards me, maybe blowing it away from me. All right, here we go. So the edges are giving a lot of cells, the middle is kind of not. So I'm going to blow gently into them without getting dirty. All right, while that's trying to figure out what it's doing, let's continue. Um, the colors are fabulous if you ask me all right so i will do this little part here i could have made it a little too thick and that's why it's doing that but let's just see right I'll thin it out for the last blow. So 
So to thin it out, all I need to do is add more fluid drop. Oh, so let's get off the floor for a minute. Although it's looking pretty cool. I don't know which way I would look at it yet. And it depends on the way it spins out. I'm just gonna add a bit more Floetrol. Oh man. All right. Let's see if that works a little better. So next, what am I even looking at here? Um, originally I think I poured it this way, but it's looking quite linear. So let's see what happens. I, I'm still going to blow it out forwards and then I'll see if we need to do anything else. Okay, here we go. And then I'm going to just spin the crap out of it and hope that she spins good. Okay. things out over here. All right, what are we looking at? Hmm, those are cute cells, I have to say. Um, all right, so. I'm wondering if I should do one more, a little bit this way. Um, you know what I mean? To, let's give her a little bit. All right, what did I do? So I'm just gonna do like, cause you're not gonna see a lot of it, but I'll just go like this. Might be too much and I might, might be ruining it as usual, but whatever. Okay, so we have the pink. I mean, not the pink, Lisa. We have the white. Purple. Twinkle. Ugh. Enchantment is so hard doing this on the floor. Enchantment. Comet. I really like these colors though. EPA or a bit more white. Okay. Okay. Then let's do a little bit of this. Okay. Blow a bit into it. All right. Now I'm gonna stand up for a second. Okay. All right. Um. Let's just spin her out and see what happens. Like. Do I even need to fix? I might take a skewer and just smooth a few things around. Um, but let's see, like this middle part. I'm so covered in black paint right now. And I'm trying not to get any of the black that's underneath. Maybe I'll 
just spray these a bit together. All right? All right, I'm just gonna like go for it at this point. Okay, ready? Let's see how it spins. I'm gonna grab onto this piece right here. Ooh, she's falling over. No, we want you even, Steven. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna use this. So at this point, I'm just going super fast because I struggled a lot to get it to balance and to move it around and I was huffing and puffing and I didn't think you needed to watch all of that. So I'm sorry for the rear view there, but uh, I finally got it to where I wanted it and spun her out and uh, you'll see in a minute, I'll do a close up, but I really am enjoying the colors a lot and um I hope you liked it too. Let me know what you think and have a good day. Bye.